living with mom in the nursing home. And then I kind of forgot about it. So it ends very abruptly. <laughs> but all of the beginning of it gives you a little bit of what my life was like with mama. Um, I entitled it My Little Mama because that's what Sue and I always called her because she hated it. <laughs> she wasn't born to riches and often didn't have a dime. But one thing that she did have and gave to us was time. We got five outfits every fall to wear to school each day. They came off every afternoon before we could go out to play. Each dress, that's what you wore back then, came not from some fancy store. Like Joseph's coat of many colors, our clothes were something more. A Singer sewing machine was the tool of mother's trade and love was poured into every stitch of the items that she made. We'd stand on a chair while she pinned up the hem, then rick-rack or lace would be added to them. Chicken and dumplings were favor are our favorites to eat, and the ones that my mama made couldn't be beat. Mm -hmm. Not blobs of raw dough slung into a broth, but strips rolled and cut on a floured pastry cloth. Mm -hmm. She didn't have a J-O-B to go to every day. Instead, she cooked and cleaned and loved and went to PTA. And that's as far as I got. <laughs> but, um, and this is where it's going to get hard for me. Why are you videotaping in portrait mode? <laughs> Who? You. Oh, what? This is the best way to videotape. Oh. Uh, it's, it won't work now. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, that's okay. Um, I've always told everybody, and it's very true, that Sue was the good daughter. She was the one that called Mama every day, either went to her house or had her come to see her every weekend, sent her cards for Grandparents' Day when I didn't recognize such a holiday because it wasn't around when I was a little kid. So if it wasn't then, it's not now. Um, Valentine's Day, everything. When I sent a card for Christmas or a birthday, it usually arrived a couple days late um, if it got there at all. But just like it was when Sue was in her last couple of years, I had an opportunity to be able to spend time with her and get close to her. And being here for a month before mom died, I got to meet some of the people in the nursing home or assisted living facility. And there was one little old man who I saw yesterday, he's 100 years old in six months right now. And every time I would go in there and they would see me come in to visit mom and be in there every day, they would say, you're such a wonderful daughter. Everybody should have a daughter like you. You know, we sure wish, you know, our kids did this. And I would tell them, I'm not the good daughter. My sister was the good daughter. And this little old man named Frank said, it doesn't matter what happened before. All that matters is that you're here now. And I'm glad I was able to be here now, even if it was only for a little while. The end. <laughs> <laughs>